Hi everybody, Pedro here for Peachy's Continuing Journey Channel. Excuse me for the music of my background. Monty has some good salsa dancing music on, but I'm not, well, I'll do a little dancing later as far as my workout is concerned, but let me read to you exactly how I wrote on my blog my way in for this week. First of all, first of all I was Lord am I am on this one here. Boom! Every time I run over. Okay. Anyway, I went up two pounds. My current weight stands at 270.8. Which is a major disappointment. So I that's why I titled it the my weigh-in report. My worst weekend ever, my worst defeat ever. Last weekend was difficult. The heavy rain flooded streets shut down subway stations and forced me to stay home most of last weekend. I did not walk outside except for laundry flow and grocery shopping. Fortunately, my meal prep and exercising and walking, um, it should be unfortunately. Unfortunately, my meal prep and exercising and walking were not enough to save me and weigh in. As I mentioned, I am up two pounds this week, I am, and I am out of the 260s in the wrong direction. After recovering from one of the worst weekends ever in my life, I am now going to work on recovering from what I saw on the scale. It is hard to talk about because I am angry. I was angry. Up. It is hard to talk about because I was upset, angry, frustrated, defeated, and discouraged. I will hope that this new week will go better. Well, first of all, I did the first sort of business I did was get my meal shop, get to my meal shop, get get my meal, my groceries done, including the things for my meal prep. As soon as I came home and put everything away, I did my meal prep, and I got my lunches for this week done in less than an hour. Except this time, the grilled fish fillets. We'll have the brown rice and the broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower. And the, the grilled chicken I've been doing lately, which is the Purdue shortcuts, will have just the spinach and kale. And no other carbs added to it. But the main thing is, I had chosen to leave healthy and do a new app so this is what I'm doing now my look at that classic wheel of fortune all right pat and pat please excuse me and this is giving me I'm I'm doing this so I'm giving the way I set it up is to give myself a week to lose the 67 the 60 plus pounds that I need to get rid of and there we got how, how many calories I burn how many steps I taken my calorie intake for the day and my deal according to this my calories intake is 2400 something a little over 2400 but let me tell you what I love about this Let's see where's my no. somewhere around here now recipe database we're not looking for What's to be database? I'm looking for. We don't have it. I'm new to this, so. Dashboard. But anyway, here's an eye catcher. With the food I ate today, I went over. I ate 2,964 milligrams of sodium, which means I went over by 664 milligrams. This, to me, could be one of the big game changers that I see as I... And another reason why I chose to leave healthy was because most of the coaches, and it has nothing to do with the coaches leaving, it's just that their meetings and their schedules and their coaches my time and schedule does not permit. Fortunately, I do attend a virtual meeting with someone I've known for my Weight Watchers 
days for a long time. So, but in spite of that, it's now time to give I chosen not to wait until after, um, until the end of the day to, or what have you, to get back on track. I got back on track as soon as I can. So now, as I mentioned at the end of this, on my latest blog concerning this week's health report, I will hope that this new week will go better. Let us hope so. That's all I can say. I will see you later. Take care.